Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller and I'm sitting here with Santorin. How do you feel after that amazing win, very questionable <laughs> win maybe against the Fnatic? <coughs> Honestly, it, it felt great. Um, I think playing against Vitaly yesterday, we felt really bad because we don't think we're as bad as we showed. Um, so I'm happy now that we can show that we actually can win against these teams and actually perform well. I mean, honestly, it's just question mark ping button for me because I really expected Fnatic to just go 17 and 1, you know, have yeah. their perfect split because they didn't change any members and all that kind of stuff. You guys, completely new team, everything, you know, Karen joined the team. Yeah. Everything's new. And then you just, you know, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, right now, uh, you you told me before already that you're a bit sick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what did you do against it, and how did it affect your performance on stage by any chance? Um, so it, it, the sickness I have kind of um, affects me a little bit um, because I have a big headache. Mm. Um, my throat luckily got a lot better before we started playing. But if I had to play like four days ago, I would uh -oh. I, like I'd probably be like. Uh, probably not talking on stage, like yeah. I'd just be sitting there. So I, d I don't think it affects me too much anymore. Um, I was really lucky that it just kind of like ended at that time. Um, but like always like the headache is still like an issue for me, but it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, well, that's that's good to hear. And <laughs> probably you'll get uh, well in the next few days. Yeah, you know? thank you. <laughs> last, two, last days. Uh, so you, what might uh, a few people might not know, you're still an NA resident, yeah. even though you're Danish and stuff. But you know, back in the day when it was introduced, uh, you were still playing in NA. Yeah. Uh, why did you come back to EU and not just get in that NA money? I mean, not everything is about money. Um, I think my reputation has been really bad. I think a lot of people think I'm just a ward. I don't do anything. Um, so I felt like it was good to get a change. Um, me being back in Europe. I feel like I have more respect in Europe. Um, people respect me higher. Um, last time I was back in Europe, I also played really well in Huma. Um, so I felt like this might be like the way to like show that I'm not just a ward. And I think also like in America, people maybe see me more of a ward than uh, in, in Europe. On twi Twitch, always is always <laughs> wards. Um, but like honestly, like I just wanted a new change. I wanted something new. I've never played in EU LCS, so I think it's like good for me to like try something new. You uh, kind of already mentioned, you know, the whole ward meme and stuff. Uh, you've played on TSM before. <laughs> uh, and of course, you know, the, the ward meme kind of comes from yeah. TSM <laughs> because Bjergsen has to carry 1v5. Yeah. The other people are just wards. Yeah. Skarin has <laughs> been affected by this. You've been affected. Yeah. Uh, what is it that when when certain players join, like... Maurice for you, um, amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Sven Skerin used to be really aggressive junglers. And they joined TSM, they play aggressive for like half a year, and then they become very conservative. You had a relatively similar, or uh, somewhat similar yeah. development. What is it that changes you guys when you get to play on TSM all of a sudden? I think um, for me, I think it was more about mindset and being really young or inexperienced. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was sure, like you can put it on TSM, but I think um, <coughs> it was more of like, I didn't feel like I was the carry. I feel like I was more of like the guy just helping Bjergsen carry because he was obviously like the best player in Amer America, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> so like it more felt like to me, I don't want to throw the game. I just want to like let him carry. I think that's the wrong mindset completely. Like you, you should also be one of the carriers. You should be one of the guys like helping the team win. And that's kind of where I felt like because I was 17 back then, like I didn't, I had never played on the big stage before. I didn't know what, what I should be doing. Um, so I think it's more about, for me, an experience than anything. For the other people, I think they've been more in the scene. Um, they have a lot more experience than me. So sure, you can, like, I think it's also, like, the way America plays. They want to, like, play really clean. Um, that means, like, macro is a lot bigger perspective than actual aggressive plays. Sure, you can say, like, uh, aggressive plays can, is also good macro, you know? But a lot of the time, the way America drafts is where, where scaling comes, where you actually do not want to force too many plays. You prefer playing defensive, and like once you hit a spike, then you start playing. So I think it's, I think there's a lot of things that contributes to like why um, people think like the people on TSM look so bad. But I don't think it's like on the TSM organization. And it's like not on Bjergsen either. It's just usually a mindset thing. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah I, I would never put it on Bjergsen. I think he's like excellent mid laner. Um, like, everyone can improve on certain things, but I, I definitely don't think the organization or Bjergsen or anyone else is the reason why area junglers look in bad. 
Okay, so it's usually like individual stuff. And yes, yeah. like it doesn't have to be the same for your single player, but like for me, it's definitely an experience. Yeah, and I mean, uh, yeah, if, if you look at, for example, Double Lift's uh, play uh, <laughs> at Last Worlds, it's hard to put that on on, on Virksen when he can't press F, you know. So it's yeah. <laughs> okay. So actually, I can add some more. So because TSM has such a big following base and there's such a big organization, that also puts more pressure mm. on the players. And I think that was what actually hit me the most because of. Never had to like deal with that. I came from the challenge scene. Nobody really saw me. Like I just like played and had fun. Um, so I think like the pressure that TSM fans bring is probably the hardest thing for me because if you do it bad, like Reddit goes like insane. <laughs> um, back then I couldn't handle it. Now I I don't care if people call me a ward. Like I'm fine with it. Um, but that that was definitely like the thing that really like made me play a lot more passive than I should have. You also spent uh, a split at Goldcon United and um, almost made uh, it to oh the LCS. No. <laughs> and I have to ask you about this. This video, all right? We all know what we're talking about oh. here. <laughs> yeah. How, what, why, 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 why? I mean, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I didn't do much of the video. Um, that's mainly because of injuries. Uh, so I couldn't actually be like a dancing and stuff. Um, but I think uh, it's good for organizations to do stuff that people actually like seeing. Mm. Um, I think like the usual just being like, oh yeah, here's a vlog, like you do, we did this today. I think that's like more boring, it's more generic. So I think like bringing out something new that people enjoy watching, I think that's like a good change. Like I I'd personally love to see all your organizations do it because I have fun watching it, you know? Yeah. But I mean, you have to have players that are fine with that. And yeah. I think GCU had a roster where people were fine with, like they're, they're fun, they was fun, like people had fun. People didn't see it as um, like them being like kind of like bullied or anything. It's more like um, I don't know. It's like I think it's good publicity for the GCU, and I think it was like yeah, it's good with what they had for the players. So okay, here's the, another question then, because we do have a European orc that is a bit special and does some special things, and that's the unicorns of love. Uh, they were looking for a jungler. Why didn't you go with them? <laughs> if, if you're already so happy with all this kind of PR going on. So I'm not a person that do that. <laughs> okay. um, I was the only guy in the video that didn't do so much. Yeah. Um, I've never actually been really good at like showing myself. I've always been like more of like just like hide and like <laughs> do my own thing. Um, I'm never the guy like trash talking all the people. I, I I'm not like that kind of personality, and I think um, I think there are personalities out there that will do that stuff. For example, Gillers is like a, a big one, and I think he does it really well. Like mm -hmm. he's really good at trash talking all people. He's really good at like sure he gets backlash a lot of the time, but like his personality just makes it easier for him. Whereas I could never do something like that, you know. So I think my personality would would never fit with you because of love style. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair though, I've heard that from a lot of players, um, and at the end of the day, Roma made them do it anyway, so yes. <laughs> it's in your contract, you have to do yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, like, seriously, I, I'm still baffled by this win, yeah. <laughs> I still don't get it, but uh, what are your realistic goals uh, with HOK for the split now? Because you've beaten Fnatic, you might as well go, okay, we're gonna go for second place obviously yeah i mean uh, so i think um i'm really realistic i think for first split everyone just wants to make playoffs and show off at playoffs what we can do obviously the biggest thing for us is like summer split that's what really matters where like if you take first place you go to worlds automatically um so like spring split i just want to make sure we make playoffs like sixth place and then i want to see how far we can get in like when it actually becomes like best of three or best of fives whatever it is because i think best of ones is it doesn't really show how good of a team you actually are sure like you have like a good like if you you can still show like you're a good team but best of fives is where like you get this mandle so if you don't have a big com uh, big uh, champion pool then they'll stop betting that out in game two and three so i think um we can't really prove how good or bad we are as a team until like we make playoffs Okay, good to hear. Well, s playoff still is uh, a goal then. Yeah, it is a goal. <laughs> For sure. You've beaten Fnatic, so you might as yeah. well. You know. <laughs> um, anything you would like to say to the H2K fans, yeah. your fans, yeah. former TSM fans who are <laughs> flaming you now? No, yeah. praising you for yeah, praising. praising yeah. You. <laughs> I mean, I just hope you guys keep following us. Um, that's definitely it's going to be a rocky climb um, because we have rookies, we have a completely new team, like. Every single lineup that goes through like completely, like every single time you have a completely new lineup, that's going to be a lot of issues that you have to fix. Um, so for example, like Fnatic don't have as many issues, so it's easy for them to like show their best already now. Um, so I think um, I, I just want you guys to keep like sticking with us and we'll like prove ourselves. Okay, you heard it from Centaurin. This was Darius from the Shot Color. I'm very sorry. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> See you then.